Hi, it's Alex from LaughingPlace.com here today with Brad Simonson and Pinar Toprek, the producer and composer of Us Again, a Walt Disney Animation Studios short film streaming on Disney Plus on June 4th. Hi, guys. Congratulations again on the launch of your new short film. Thank Hi. you. Nice to meet you too. Um, I was curious to start with a question for both of you. Um, what attracted you to us again? Um, Brad, we'll start with you and then go to Pinar. Uh, I really have wanted to work with Zach Parrish for a very long time since Big Hero 6. He was my animation, my head of an, our head of animation on that and I was the associate producer. Um, and so when we were given the opportunity when I heard he was doing a short film, uh, I begged to be involved and they let me. <laughs> So uh, it, it's really been exciting. And then when I heard the story, as universal as it is in the, in the beautiful um, concept that he had and he pitched me, I just got completely uh, excited and was all in. And for me, I got a call uh, to meet Zach and Brad about this, uh, this, this short film that I didn't know much about at that point and we met. Um, and then they, they told me what it was going to be about. And I thought it's so unique and beautiful. And uh, it got me extremely excited creatively and musically. So um, yeah, that was, I, that, that was it. I was hooked. <laughs> Great. And for you, Pinar, um, I was curious to know um, how different was it compared to your work in live action filming, scoring um, this short that's not only animated, but you actually had to write the music in advance of the animation because the choreography had to map to that. So really you were writing music for dance that then became animation. Um, how did that process differ for you from your other film experience? It was very different to be honest because I rarely get involved that early on uh, and then stay involved all throughout the process. So um, just from, I mean, and I was, involved from before storyboards so uh, which which really rarely happens to be honest um, so yeah I mean I, I knew uh, how Kyori and Marie move so that was kind of the, the first inspiration point after Zach and I decided on that funk and soul kind of genre um, and uh, I did my first pass uh, the themes and I also needed to kind of find out what instrument was going to represent art and dot uh, because their dialogue does happen through music as well. So uh, we, kind of, we, need, we needed to define those ideas. And uh, once we had a map for what we were going for, then it was just, uh, you know, kind of back and forth constantly and fine tuning everything. If you don't mind me asking, um, which instruments uh, do define uh, the two main characters in the, in the short? So for art, we got uh, we got the funky bass, <laughs> and and for dot we have whirly. And there's some organ elements and stuff and other things along with it. But um, yeah, it's just it's and we we established those from pretty much right from the start in the apartment. Um, so yeah. Great. Yeah. So it's so such a funky score that the instruments don't always like jump out right to you. You know that there's there's brass and there's other things, but there's also some electronic in there. So just as a, a listener, it's, it's fun to try and pick those out. Um, mm -hmm. For you, Brad, um, I'm curious to know if there was any new technical advancements that had to be made for us again, or, um, or what the biggest technical challenge was. I know um, working with water and animation is always hard, and this has a lot of it. Yeah, no, that's a really great question. Um, you're the first person to ask that question today. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, the the one that jumps out at me that was, it wasn't something that we didn't think we could do. It was just a question of how we were going to do it because we hadn't, we hadn't actually done it in a, in a, we hadn't executed it in the way that we were choosing to try to, which is R and Dot having to age on screen, right? We call them transformations, but really having them, you know, they do lose height. So they shrink a little bit and then they're, their hair, you know, falls out or changes and, you know, sunspots and, and shape, all of that happens, you know, over the course of frames. Uh, but the way the, the technology was executed by John Kawadi, who is our head of characters, um, was we could see it on screen. That was one of the, that was one of the, the, the goals was we could actually watch them transform even in a close-up. So I'd have to say if I had to poke at one, 
that was probably the one we got we got started with early because you always start those technical challenges really early. So the minute Zach said, "Oh, they're going to get old and young on screen," we had a quick meeting and said, "John, once we have the characters, we got to figure out how this happens." Uh, so yeah, that's the long answer to a short question. <laughs> um, piggybacking off that, did the animators have the controls to be able to like specifically say like this is how fast that transition or how slow it's going to happen? Absolutely. Yep. Cool. Um, for Pinaro, I was curious to know what were some of your um, your musical inspiration specifically for kind of the funky vibe of the the score for us again. Um, if you had any any artists that you looked to or, or composers that were an inspiration. It was honestly the whole genre because I listen to funk and soul a lot. Um, I, I love Motown. I love just a, a, a lot of things about um, that whole style. So it was it was a kind of a mashup of everything that that I love and listen to regularly. Brad, I was curious to know. I, I believe the production wrapped pre crazy times in 2020. Um, if that's wrong, correct me. But I was curious if you guys were able to do any kind of an end of production celebration for all the crew that worked on us again. Well, you're really close. Uh, okay. We actually, we actually, our last day of animation, um, literally the last day of animation was a Friday and the Thursday before that Friday, we all got sent home. Ooh. So then we had tech anim, effects, lighting, and stereo to complete. So we had to make the transition to work from home, and then we had to, uh, and then we had to, um, you know, deliver the movie. And for a wrap party, um, we were pretty creative. So we we did we did a virtual wrap party, and I don't know if you've ever seen these silly things you can do, but we made a. Um, an online bingo game and you can put in your own words up to a hundred words. And so we invited, you know, the team uh, and then we just did a really super fun, you know, thank you to them. And we played, um, we played us again, bingo. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, and, and the short obviously premiered um, in theaters with, with Riot and the last dragon, but not everybody got to experience Raya that way. Um, so now it's really opening up to the masses coming this Friday, June 4th with, with a huge um, potential audience on Disney plus. I was curious to know what your um, feelings are as you kind of head into that kind of last phase of release for us again, um, for both of you. It's really exciting for me. This is I've been waiting for this because a lot of people that, that I know they are still a bit hesitant to see it in the, the theater and uh, and I under understandable, but I, I can't wait for that. I can't wait to actually just go and be able to see it in theater. But in the meantime, um, I've been waiting for for Friday, honestly, to be able to share it with everybody. So it's very exciting. Yeah, I, I echo that. Um, I'm just incredibly grateful that it's finally going to be out there in a way. Um, that a lot of people can see it. And um, we're hopeful that it touches people in the way that it did in the theater and just super excited and joyous, frankly, for this. And um, just can't wait to see how the world reacts. Great, well, I, I saw it in theaters, luckily um, loved it there. Uh, I've seen it in, in the home already as well. And uh, I'm excited for the rest of the world to see it because I think it's fantastic. So congratulations again. Thank you so much for your time. Hope you all have a great day. 